If you don't know very much about libraries, the PCB library in particular is used to create and store PCB footprints that are added to components in the schematic, which will then be used in the PCB. Before creating the actual footprint, it makes sense to configure a library first so we have everything we need to get started. The Properties panel can be found from the Panels button, and this is where the changes to the workspace can be made as well as certain objects. One of the most common sections used in this panel is the Selection filter. You can toggle which objects are able to be selected or not, which is helpful when trying to select multiple items. In addition to object selection, we can also toggle object snapping. For the most part, the default settings cover most needs. But it's up to you to determine which object should be snapped to by toggling these options on or off. The Grid Manager will show you all of the grids available in the library. There will always be a default grid, and if you double-click on it, you can change the display style and grid step size. All you have to do to change the grid size is to hit the G key when nothing is selected. And at the bottom of the panel is where you can change the units. You can also change the units on the fly using the Q key, depending on what you're doing. Now our footprints are going to consist of different items on different layers such as a layer for the copper pads and other layers used for the component outline and assembly information. You can see the available layers from the layer bar just below, or we could open the View Configuration panel to get a more detailed view. This panel can also be opened by hitting the L key when nothing is selected. Here, we can add layers as well as toggle their visibility. For the most part, the default layers will work, but if you want to add specific information to your footprint, such as a 3D body, you'll need a layer for that. If you right-click on any layer, you'll be able to add a component layer pair. We'll set the layer type to 3D body, which will add a top and bottom layer for us to place our 3D body on. We'll add another two layer pairs for the assembly and courtyard layers that we'll use to represent the component dimensions later on. Next, we'll start creating our footprint by placing some copper pads. 